Now here we need to estimate the mean and the standard deviation for this day. Now I've already gone ahead and put the and is 90 as usual, and I've now I've added the, the sum of fi. And the way this is calculated is that we first need to multiply the frequency with the midpoint y, so f times y, and then just add them all up. So multiply all of these and then add them up all together. You should get this result. Now let's go ahead and actually solve this problem. So to calculate the mean, which is quite straightforward, it's just the, it's just the sum of fy, the total you have over the number, which is 90. And this will just give you 4420 over 90. Should give you exactly, well, I'll keep it to a decimal 49.1 one recurring. Or you can leave it as a fraction. So that's the mean cost. So the mean cost, actually, you know, we should put in pounds. So the mean cost is £49.10. As for the standard deviation, well, I usually use this relationship. I always use the variance relationship. That is the mean. Or well, the second moment minus the mean squared. This is always the best thing. And then you just square root this. So this, this notation, this literally means firstly find this expression. But instead of fy, it would be fy squared. And we have it. ex squared is simply the same thing. Instead of y, it would be squared over n. And the mean we already have. Be fy over n. And then you just square root. So quite straightforward. Always use this relationship. It's so much easier. Because it's the same expression, and then you just square the mean. So what do we have? So it would just be, oh, it's a long one. So in your calculation, it would be 226, and then 687.5 over n, which is 90, oof, minus the mean. So it would just be your answer squared. So the mean as a fraction was actually 440, well, let's just keep the whole thing, 90 squared. Sometimes better to have exact answers. So do that in the calculator and you should get something decent. I'm going to quickly calculate here. 687.5 over 90 minus. It's a squared. Yeah, and my standard deviation was, um, let's see, 10.33 pounds, or 10.34, go round it up obviously. 10.34 pounds so that is the spread actually one more note I, for some reason i rounded the mean to three seven figures just keep it as 11 i think that's the best answer just keep it in four into two decimal places